Hi everybody, this is JJ Long from JJ Artworks and welcome to episode 67 of our podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in, we truly appreciate it. In this week's episode, I actually wanna talk about the idea of breaking down like your big goals this year and breaking them down into chunk size, bite sized pieces. Something that's easily digestible, something that you can easily sort of track your progress, as opposed to just thinking of the big idea or the big destination you wanna you want to get to and stressing yourself out because with the turn of the new year i'm sure a lot of us have the, these big ideas and these big goals for ourselves and it's very very easy to look at your goals and dreams as like climbing mount everest <laughs> and just being like oh man this is this is really far away it's never going to happen but if you actually uh, form the ability to kind of break things down into bite-sized pieces Things are just more digestible. It just, you can sort of honor progress a little bit easier and it won't feel like your goal is so far away. And actually, if you break things down the right way and you sort of chart your progress on your journey, things will accumulate and add up to where you want your destination to be. So perfect example. And I I look at, this all the time with my finances. Say you want to make a million dollars in your business. You want to gross a million dollars. Rather than being like, wow, that is, I've never done that before. That is like so far, that's a pie in the sky dream. It just seems out of reach. It's, it's in the stratosphere. Rather than looking at, you know, my, oh my God, how am I going to make a million dollars? Break it down. All right, what, what's a what's million dollars divided by 12 months? Uh, and I actually wrote down some quick math here. That's $83,333 per month. That's still kind of a lot, right? If, if you're not used to making that much money. Okay, so what is it per week? What's a million dollars divided by 52? It's actually $19,230. Like, okay, that's a little more digestible. It's not too crazy. Um, I've been able to make that money before, or that might be a stretch goal, but I think I can do it. If you break down a million dollars by 365 days, that turns out to be $2,739. Although for many of us, that's probably a lot to try to aim for in a day. What sounds easier to achieve? $2,739 or a million dollars, right? If you're able to strive toward $2,739 per day, and you do that every day, you know, whether you do it or not, if you have that mentality that, okay, as long as I reach this target every day, I will become a millionaire. Like it, it will happen. It's math. It's mathematically proven. If I hit this target every day, I will get there. Um, and you can do that with whatever number you're going for. You know, it doesn't have to be a million. It could be, you know, a hundred thousand. It could be a half million. It could be whatever, whatever you want to achieve as, as far as finances go. But when you start thinking, when you, basically it's kind of the same concept. If you don't value a dollar, you'll never value a million dollars because a million dollars is composed of a million $1 bills, <laughs> right? They, they don't make a million dollar bill. It's, it's a million dollars is a million times $1 bills or, you know, whatever, you know, denomination you want to use. But basically um, being able to create mini goals that lead and accumulate to a big goal, that's the way you should do it. I'm going to tie this into fitness now. Say you want to lose uh, 30 pounds in three months and you haven't exercised in a while and it's like, I, I really, really want to achieve this. I just want to be healthier. I want to be more of a uh, leader and a role model for my family or my friends, my community, whatever it is. I just want to have more energy. I want to be more confident. And you're just like, oh, 30 pounds, that's so much, so much weight. Break it down, you know, figure out what your, your uh, deadline is. If, it, if you want to lose 30 pounds in three months, that's 10 pounds a month, right? Okay. All right. That seems achievable. Um, let's break it down week by week. All right. 10 pounds divided by four weeks. That's two and a half pounds a week. I can do that. You know, I've lost two and a half pounds in a week before, or, you know, I'm currently, you know, I've lost a pound a week. Let's see if I can lose two and a half pounds a week. 
But if you have the mentality of each week, I need to lose two and a half pounds and you sort of stay on that path, you will eventually lose the 30 pounds in three months. Um, same thing, say you want to uh, get married someday. And you're like, oh my God, I'm not, I'm not even dating anybody, uh, but, but I want to get married this year and the next couple of years, whatever. And your brain just starts going to, man, I, you know, if you're a guy, you know, I got to, I got to save up for the ring and I, uh, you know, I, I got to plan the wedding and, you know, you're, you're, you're thinking of like way, way, way far in advance. <laughs> you, you haven't even met the girl yet, right? You haven't even met your significant other. Um, the first step would be to actually put yourself on a dating app, you know, uh, go on Hinge, go on Tinder, uh, do whatever, uh, Bumble, go, uh, go on any of those dating apps that work for you. If you're not a dating app person, then be like, all right, maybe I need to put myself out there more and I, I need to start attending some more public events. So start going to cookouts when your, your friends ask you to go. Start uh, going to networking events. Start going to the bars and the restaurants and, and meeting new people. Start mingling and putting yourself out there. Um, I think too many times when we think of these uh, big milestone goals that we want to achieve, we just think of the destination and it overwhelms us. And I've been there. I'm still there to this day. But over the years, I've sort of learned how to honor progress and look at progress as the destination. So if you can look at progress as as, a, as your new destination and just live into that daily type of 1%, getting better you know, by 1% every day, if you can sort of get into that man mentality and sort of uh, adopt that concept in your life, I think that'll go a long way. You'll be more at peace. You'll feel like you're winning every day. And if you do the math and you add things up, eventually you will get to your target goal. And it doesn't seem so astronomical. It's more doable. So uh, I'm just going to leave that there today, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We truly appreciate it. If this is your first time visiting our YouTube channel, listening to our podcast, uh, please hit the subscribe button below. We are uh, a channel that uh, stems around creative entrepreneurship and artistry. And I infuse a lot of my uh, teachings with mindfulness. If that's something that you're into, uh, please subscribe, hit the, the bell notification icon, continue to listen to us on Spotify and every, every other place where you stream your podcasts. And um, we look forward to talking to you next week in episode 68. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll talk to you later.